Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage, and if you are anything like me, you will be obsessed with WandaVision. So, this video, I'm going to be unboxing this Hot Toys figure of Scarlet Witch from Age of Ultron, so it's a little bit old, but I've only just got it, so I'm very excited to share it. Let's take a look. Hey guys, so before we dive straight into this video, hello Gus. How's it going? Before we dive straight into this video, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. My handle is gonna be, it's gonna be here somewhere. Um, what are you doing? So, background. I got this from a seller on Facebook. There's loads of like selling pages on Facebook and I'm in quite a few of the Hot Toys ones. And this, 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 this. This isn't my like, my ideal one. My ideal one is the Civil War. Hi. My number one Hot Toys that I really want to get, my grail at the moment, is the Civil War Scarlet Witch because that's the most up-to-date version of her that there is available. But she's really expensive and this one came up and it's it's older but it is, it's still, it's a really good figure. So I, I just, ha I had to have Scarlet Witch in my collection because of One Division. So here she is. So this is the sugar box, just going to open this up. Slide out the Hot Toy. This and I don't need this plastic. Gus is desperate to get into this video. Uh, so. What are you doing? So here we go. Here's the outside art box. The art box is gorgeous. It's got uh, Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch, how she appeared in Age of Ultron. The design pretty much goes around the outside. So you've got Scarlet Witch there. It just says Scarlet Witch. Then on this side, you've got her like classic headpiece that she wears. She wears it in one division in the, the Halloween episode. Um, right, let's take this off and take a look inside the box. So here we've got her in her little window display. She's got her old outfit on, um, how we first saw her in Age of Ultron when she was she was kind of bad and she was working with, with Ultron to fight the Avengers. She had beef with Tony Stark, basically. So, I mean, if you're watching this video, you probably know that already. Let's take this out. So here she is in the clamshell packaging. You can, see, you can see she's got loads of accessories there. So we're gonna take a look at those accessories right now. And there's also the instruction booklet there, which we don't really need. There we go. And it's off. Someone else like love this part of it where you just lift off the plastic and you take a look inside. I need to make sure I don't drop any of these because Gus will just try and eat them. First up, let's take a look at the hands. She's got multiple different hands that you can use. She's got these really cool little glowing magical hands that look like this. So she's got little red fingertips and it's kind of like see-through plastic. And there's loads of those in different sort of styles. There you go, so there's a, another one just there. You can see she's got different poses for the magic hands and they're all really cool. Different little hands you can use. The plain ones look pretty much just like this, so regular, standard, normal looking hands. You've got all of her rings and accessories and bracelets and stuff on there. So very, very cool, very detailed for such tiny little hands. And I'm gonna swap the ones that she's wearing right now for these ones. So I'll keep these ones out just there and I'll put these back in here. Then she's also got these little bits of magical flame things. So these are pretty cool. These she can hold in some of her hands. So it looks like she's like got magical flamey things coming out of her hands. Very cool if you want to display it like she's she's in the middle of, of doing some magic. So very cool. There's two of these so she can have magic coming out of both of her hands. Very cool. Love. Uh, but I'm probably not going to use these to be fair. I, I, um, I like them. They're a nice little touch but no. Not for me. This little accessory right here, this is Ultron's heart. Or heart. It's the, the, the closest thing she, he has to a heart. She rips this out of his out of his chest at the end of Age of Ultron after Quicksilver dies. Spoiler alert, doesn't count as a spoiler because it's years old now. And then she's also got two little necklaces that come in this tiny little thing here. I'm only gonna use one of these. I'm not too fond of like the longer one. She's got this one here, which is longer. I'm probably not gonna use this one though because I don't really like how it looks on her. So then she's got this tiny, tiny, tiny one. That's the one I'm gonna be using on my Wanda because I like this one a lot better than the longer one. So this is gonna go straight onto Wanda. 
This one is going to be back in the plastic. How do you guys feel about WandaVision? I'm so excited to see the last episode. I'm also very sad that it is the last episode because I've been so excited to see every episode for the last nine weeks. It's been like back in the old days when you had to like wait a week to, to watch your favourite shows rather than binging it all in one go, which I think is great. Do you prefer binging in one go or do you like to, to, to watch it week by week? Let me know in the comments down below. I've been thoroughly enjoying watching this every Friday, so that's just me. Then there's also the stand that she comes with. So this is obviously an Age of Ultron stand. So there you go, you can see on the nameplate you've got the Avengers Age of Ultron logo as well as Scarlet Witch's name. There we go. Although, she was never actually named the Scarlet Witch. I'm not giving any spoilers. In Age of Ultron. She wasn't named Scarlet Witch in Age of Ultron. We'll just put it like that. So this just clips in here. This comes up here. I'm just gonna put this over to the side while we take a look at Scarlet Witch. Right, let's take a look at Wanda herself. This is the main part of this unboxing. So, take this off of her head. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put the necklace on her first and then we can take a look. Okay, and here we have it. She's so incredibly detailed. It's insane how much detail they've got onto this little tiny figure considering she's only one six, I, I, I don't know, she's one six scale, I don't know how, how tall she is exactly, but she's, she's incredibly detailed. She's got a little stocking socks things and the clothing is really, really cleverly done to mask any of the joints because she's very, very articulated. The, the socks just cover the knee enough to, to cover the knee joint. She's got a little armband things on which covered the joint there. The jacket comes down just over her elbow enough to hide the elbows and it just looks really good. Overall, really, really, really good. She's got a little zip jacket. There's, the zip doesn't work, but you know, it doesn't matter. She's got layered dresses. So she's got a skirt here. She's got an underskirt as well, just underneath here. Pull that down, give her some of her her modesty back. Got a little leather jacket which is insanely detailed. All the stitching and stuff all over the back. It looks great. The cuffs at the sleeves are awesome. And then we just have to talk about the head sculpt because the head sculpt is insane. It looks so much like Elizabeth Olsen. It's unreal. It's like, it's such a good head sculpt. It looks, it looks just like her. It's so, so good. I'm so impressed. I'm really, really pleased that I have this Hot Toys figure. I'm desperate absolutely desperate to get the Civil War version or if they do do an updated version for One Division, I'm so excited to get that. Fingers crossed they do. There are rumours that there's going to be two new Visions and a new Wanda, so I will keep everything crossed for that and hope for the best. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is Wanda Maximoff. I'm just going to change out her hands now so that she's got her magic hands so she's a little bit more cool looking. And there we go, I've just changed out her hand, so her hands are looking awesome. I'm just gonna put her on her stand. She can stand by herself, like so, da-da. But she comes with the stand, so I'm gonna put her on the stand. This can go just here. It's masked quite well by the dress, so you can't really see the clasp for the stand, which I think is great. And she is nicely secure. She's not gonna fall off the shelf or anything, and she looks freaking awesome. I'm so pleased, I love her. I can't wait to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get a WandaVision version of Scarlet Witch. And if not, then fingers crossed, I will be able to find a Civil War Hot Toys Scarlet Witch for a bargain price somewhere. It's very unlikely. It's probably not gonna happen. She's about five, 600 pounds and I'm not paying that. I can't afford it. Wish me luck on my hunt. I will see you guys in my next video. Please do give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you like WandaVision, Give it a big thumbs up. I will be unboxing some more Hot Toys very soon. I have another one literally just it's over there on a chair somewhere for me to unbox. So I'm going to get to that straight away. Also guys, if you like my t-shirt, there is a discount code and a link down below in the description to get 20% off all clothes at Zavi and 10% off all merchandise at Zavi, which does include Hot Toys. So you can find some good deals on Zavi right now. It's an affiliate link, so check it out. I will see you guys really soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. One division.